Hello, uh, thank you for watching my video. Uh, my name is uh, Jamie, a student from uh, Cal University. Uh, once again, uh, welcome to my video. Um, at this time, I'll be talking about uh, network security uh, firewall. What is firewall? A firewall is a hardware or software component that is developed to restrict an authorized incoming or outgoing traffic to the local network. Firewall is set up to control traffic flow between two networks. By configure the permission like allow, deny, block and many more. Let's uh, go to the next screen. Firewall and networking. Firewall is a security system that controls or incoming and outgoing traffic to the local network. As you can see here, we have uh, uh, the representation of how a firewall is configured in the network. On the right side is a local network. As you can see, in a local network, uh, we have the uh, servers, the uh, personal computers, printers, and uh, other servers, and all the resources of the network log or local network. On the left side is the internet out there. Uh, for example, a uh, laptop or personal PCs or any other resources. Could be an iPhone or any resources. The most important aspect of a uh, firewall is that uh, at the entry point, the network system is protected. This is the entry point to the network. And the logic is simple. A firewall must be positioned to control all incoming and outgoing traffic to your network. There are uh, two types of firewalls. Mm, the most basic uh, classification of firewalls falls into a hardware firewall and a software firewall. Hardware firewall are considered to be external and software firewall internal. Hardware firewall are normally situated between your network and the connecting router. For example, if you look at the uh, graphic, this is your local network, uh, this is the router, and this is the hardware firewall. On the other hand, we have the uh, software firewall, which are basically a uh, software component. Uh, it's called also internal. It's uh, usually uh, installed in a personal computer or local computer. The uh, disadvantage to uh, have a software firewall is that they will only guard security to the computer that they are installed on not the entire firewall. For instance, if you have a firewall software installed in this PC, the security is only for this PC, not for the entire network. Um, the firewall has um, three functions, packet filtering, circuit relay, and application gateway. Uh, look at the uh, graphic again, um, the uh, basic representation of a network. This is a local network, uh, servers, and this is the uh, firewall, and these are the uh, resources out there on the internet, laptop, iPhone, and iPod, and, and other resources. So. Uh, Filtering is the most basic um, function which consists of uh, examining incoming or outgoing packets and allowing or disallowing their transmission or acceptance of the basis of a set of configurable rules called policies. As you can see, uh, between the server or your local resources and the uh, 
out there resources for example this laptop and uh, communicating with the uh, server all internet traffic travels in the form of packet a packet is a quantity of data of limited size kept uh, small for easy handling as you can see all your files, downloads, web pages, retrieval, emails, all these internet communications always occur in packet. In other words, the way they communicate this server with this out there resources or within the network resources is occur in packets. What is a packet? And Packet filtering is allowing or disallowing their transmission based on set of rules and policies. Mm, a packet is a series of digital numbers, basically, which conveys this this uh, thing things. For example, um, the data request from the original system, the source IP address and port, the destination um, IP address and port, uh, information about a protocol, uh, TCP IP, UDP. Uh, in packet filtering, the only protocol and the address information of each packet is examined. Its uh, content and contacts are ignored. Mm, packet filtering policies may be based upon any of the following allowing or disallowing packets on basis of uh, the source IP destination port and protocols for example um, here we can see an uh, example of the list of uh, IP address ports um, source IP and destination address, destination port. For example, we have the uh, source IP, which is a uh, 192.168.1.100, and the source uh, port is 1030. Uh, the destination address 192.0.2.7. Uh, 71, and the port 80. Uh, it says connection state initiated and so on these are a little example how the uh, packets are identified uh, the next screen uh, will be uh, explaining a little bit about the uh, circuit relay and application data application gateway um, uh, application uh, I mean a uh, circuit relay circuit relay level filtering takes control a step farther farther than a packet filtering also called a circuit level gateway this is a fiber approach that uh, validates connection before allowing data to be exchanged Um, what is mean is that the firewall doesn't simply allow or disallow packet, but also determine whether the connection between both ends is valid according to configurable rules, then opens a session and permit traffic only from the allowed source, as possibly only for a limited period of time. Whether a connection is valid may, for example, be based upon destination IP address and port, source IP address and port, time of date, uh, protocol, user and password. Every session of data exchange is validated and monitored and all traffic is disallowed unless a session is open. Uh, that is a secret relay an application gateway in this approach the firewall goes still further in its regulation of traffics 
the application level gateway acts as a proxy for applications performing all data exchange with the remote system in their behalf. This can render a computer behind the firewall or but invisible to the remote system. It can allow or disallow traffic according to very specific rules, for instance, permitting some commands to a server but not other, limiting file access to certain type, varying rules according to authenticated user and so forth. This type of firewall may also perform very detailed logging of traffic and monitoring of events on the host system and can often be instructed to sound alarm or notify an operator under under defined conditions. An application gateway is normally uh, implemented on a separate computer on the network whose primary function is to provide proxy server service. Limitation and problems of uh, firewall security. Firewalls are a good first steps to protect steps in protecting your organization from hackers, but they do have their limitation too. Uh, one of the uh, some of the limitation now uh, we can explain. Uh, look at the graph. Uh, the limitation once again uh, goes, uh, for example, uh, viruses. Not all firewalls offer full protection against computer viruses, as there are many ways to include, encode uh, files and transfer them over the internet. Attacks. Firewall cannot protect against attacks that don't go through the firewall. For example, uh, your firewall may restrict access from the internet, but may not protect your equipment from inside computer or inside the uh, network. Architecture consists of overall organization security architecture. Firewalls reflect the overall level of security in the network an architecture that depends upon one method of security or one security mechanism as a single point of failure. Configuration. A firewall cannot tell you if it has been incorrectly co configured. Monitoring. Some firewall can notify you if a perceived threat occurs. However, they cannot notify you if someone has hacked into your network vulnerabilities. In conclusion, as you can see, all firewalls, regardless of type, have one very important thing in common. They receive, inspect, and make decisions about all incoming data before it reaches other part of the system or network.